Oh my gosh. There you go. There we go. Reel it. Reel it. Oh, dude. He just ate it right there. Here you go. Got him. There you go, bud. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Frost and Austin, and today I am going to be guiding. I got out a little early, had to tie some baits on, get everything rocking, and I am stoked about it. We are running out of trips in my future just because the shop is selling, the guide business and boat service center is selling, and uh, I'm really excited about that. But just a few trips left, and I'm hoping today is going to be awesome. So we have been on an awesome bite. If you've been watching the videos, we've been cracking them, top waters, fast fishing, power fishing, finesse fishing, doing a little bit of everything, but we are excited to get after it today. It is a beautiful day, gorgeous, perfect temperature, clear water, Highland Reservoir in the mountains. It's going down. If you're a return viewer, or maybe this is your first time ever watching the channel, I would love for you to subscribe and then hit the notification button so you will be notified every time we are posting new videos. We always are putting out some fun videos, catching big bass all over the country with some of the biggest names in the industry, but stick with us for today. It's gonna be awesome. Let's do it big largemouth bass not huge largemouth bass yeah. not like you guys got in texas but it's got big small mouth and uh the deal is all these little points like if i zoom in right here you see this little point that comes out and all these little kick out points all have big sand flats attached to them and all these little areas that have these points are really good areas to catch a lot of these fish. So there's also some waterfalls we're gonna hit today too, awesome. but we're running some other trips, so I'm sure those boys are beating them up, but we'll, we'll fish them and we'll catch some fish out of them today. But there's been a really big school of fish right here on this point, and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch a couple. Yeah, that, whole, that whole East Texas area we love. I think I was meant to be a Texan, just mostly because I'm American, and it's like, one of the last American states, I feel like. But casting right towards right towards that. Uh... Okay, so I haven't done this forever, do I? Okay, yeah, so you hold the rod. Okay. You, I hold it above this handle here. Okay. And with your index finger, so you have this thing that looks like a hammer, right? Okay. With your index finger, you wanna hold the line. Okay. And then flip this bale, mm -hmm. right? And I just gently put it in the grains of my fingertip. Okay. And then when I go to cast, the line will just kind of fall off okay. and then I flip okay. and then okay. you're off I to the races. Remember. Yeah. A lot of fish right here on this point. And you want to fish it a little fast. These fish are extremely notorious for being quick swimmers and the bait fish they, they like to eat too are notorious for being quick swimmers. Do you have them about this far out? Can you do it? Or closer in? Yeah, yeah, about, about that. that far. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so you don't want to hook it. You don't want to hook it. Oh my gosh. I just freaking had one smash it. You don't want to hook your finger with it. You just want to gently hold it with your finger. So when you go to cast, oh, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Reel it. Reel it. Reel it. It's a big one, dude. It's a really big fish. It'll pull you. <laughs> Reel it. Keep that line tight. Keep that line tight. Yep. Dude, that is a giant small mouth. Okay, easy with him, easy with him. He's gonna pull and go crazy right next to the boat. <laughs> All right, easy. Don't reel him up anymore, don't reel him up anymore. Here you go, bring him right here with the rod tip. Oh, it's a big one. Nice. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Yes. It's a really nice small mouth right there, guys. Oh, that's so cool. That's a pretty fish. <laughs> Can I get a picture with it? Yeah, can yeah. I? Yeah. That was awesome. You wanna take two or three fingers and put it up under his jawbone like that and then lay your thumb like horizontally across his teeth. So, whichever hand. So take like up under his jawbone, there you go. You gotta hold him out a little bit. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Nice small mouth right there. Nice. Just a few minutes into this shindig, let's go. 
It's awesome. All right, brother, just Amazing. toss them back. <laughs> They use five different languages in one. Oh. Golly, look at them blowing up right there, guys. Like, hold on. Golly. Rodrigo, this is the one I, I just put on for you. Oh, ho, ho. oh my gosh. There you go, bro. Reel it, reel it. Holy cow. Dude, was that insane? He just came out of nowhere and smashed it easy with him. It's a, oh, it's another giant small one. I'm gonna back that drag off just a little bit. Let him run. Holy crap. That was insane. It scared me. Did you jump like I jumped? I didn't see it. He just like, boom. Yo, it's a big small mouth. Holy crap. Dude. Yeah, just easy with him, easy with him. He's gonna wanna jump real quick. Oh, dude, that is a giant. Oh, man. Look at that fish pulling that drag. Dude, that's a giant smallmouth. That's like a huge smallmouth. No freaking way. God, they're jumping right there. Oh my gosh, they're jumping right there. I want to get this in. That's a, that's a four pound smallmouth. That's like a rare fish. All right, come here. Come here, big smallmouth. Keep reeling, keep reeling, Federico. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Go! Oh, look at that fish, dude. Holy crap. Do you have a weighing thing? Yeah, I've got a scale. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> look at that big smallmouth, bro. Holy cow. Look at it. Oh my gosh, let's get a scale. There's schooling here. Hold on, I gotta hit the spot lock. Okay, we're on spot lock. All right, remind me later. All right, let's see what this one freaking weighs, guys. This is probably, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, here, hold that, 315. Oh my gosh. They are smashing smallmouth right now. Or the smallmouth are smashing. What did it weigh? Three, three pounds, pounds, 11 ounces. So three and three quarter pounds. Dude. That's crazy. Yeah, here, hold it real quick. Hold it, same way. Stand in that light right there. Holy cow, we haven't been here guys for just a few minutes. I know, that's what I was just... And just absolutely cracking them. Look at the size of that smallmouth. Give me some knuckles. Let's go, boom. All right, throw them Ben over here. Let's give him a nice little paw. Perfect. Oh, dude, you just ate it right there. Here you go. Here you go. Reel it. I'll take yours. I'll take yours. Still got it. Oh, dude. Let's go. That's not a bad fish either. Just flip him in here. Just lift him up in here. Dude, he is a chunk. Look at that bass. Go. Oh, look at the gut on that thing. <laughs> that thing is a fatty golly he looks like me after i freaking slide over to papa john's and eat about 19 pounds of pizza god dang look at that stomach same deal put your put your uh fingers right behind his jaw there he might head shake just squeeze him hard all right let me see him first Dude, let's go. Another good large mouth right there. It's awesome. You got one? You got one? Yeah, you do have one. Flip it in here, you little small mouth. Let's go. That's awesome. That is crazy. He's freaking out. Hello, hello. How you doing? There you go. Nice. Sweet little right. small mouth. So, one finger up under ah. your head. You put your thumb in his mouth. There you go. And then there you go. Hold it just like that. Boom. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. I'm kidding. He's feisty. Because he's a small mouth. I think we got a picture, right? <laughs> this way? Yep. There we go. See? There you go, Federico's all about it too now. 
Got him. You reset the hook, set the hook. Pull it hard, pull it hard. You got another one. Oh, oh so crap. look, you got to set that hook. So I know you're like, oh, I got one and you're just reeling it. But when you feel that, when you feel it pull, you want to freaking pull, pull that rod as hard as you can. Let me, I got to fix your guy. Let me fix your guy. Let me fix yours too. You got something going on, Federico. Think about not hooking the line so much, just gently holding that. Right there, guys. Guys, cast. Cast right there. Cast. Got a cast. Got a cast. You guys want to do, when that happens, you want to stop everything and get a cast on it. That is. Got him. There you go, bud. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. 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 Good large mouth. Yeah, that's a good one. Here you go. God, they are so hard to catch. Put those fingers up under there there you go a boy a boy not a bad one good large mouth right there here you go There we go. That one's got cancer. Look at that one. See how skinny he is? Yeah. He's like paper thin. I guess if fishing was easier, everyone would do it and it would be less rewarding, right? And you wouldn't need a guide. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my God, he hit it out of the water. Nothing I can do. Did you literally say he hit it out of the water? Yeah. Holy freaking crap. He literally hit it out of the water. He hit it so hard, he hit it out of the water. Oh my gosh. All right, on that note, I'm gonna just jump in the water. You guys just run me over, <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, well, that is a wrap from my guide trip today. Great people, super nice, super fun. We got on them pretty quick, hot and heavy, uh, rocking and rolling, and we hit a few spots, and I'm like, okay, they're patternable, this is the deal. And then uh, I ran into a buddy, and he asked how we were doing. I said, man, we got on them pretty good, but I said, I'm not gonna tell you where they are, because uh, I don't want you hitting it. And he's like, oh, come on, man. So then I ended up telling him, and then sure as heck, he ended up going over there and kind of beating up on those fish. And I will say this, a big mistake a lot of people make is this old adage of don't leave fish to find fish. And that may have been true before forward-facing sonar. And I don't know where you stand with forward-facing sonar. And truthfully, I don't really care where you stay on forward-facing sonar. But what I have learned on clear highland mountain reservoirs whether it's smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, spotted bass across the board, whatever, it is actually smart to leave fish because what happens is those fish get conditioned 
to those baits. I see it all too often guiding. I pull into an area, I know there's fish set up, whether it's an isolated rock pile, maybe some isolated grass, maybe a brush pile, maybe a depression on a point, maybe a ledge, and those fish get really educated really quick. You have the chance to maybe catch one, you might catch two, you might even catch three, and then all of a sudden they shut down, they turn off, it's not really happening and it becomes unproductive, right? Diminishing returns. And you just can't stay and beat those fish up because all you're doing, they, they saw Jimmy John and Billy Bob and, and Ran Rambo or they saw their three buddies get caught and then they're like, oh shoot, there's something going on. And those, those, those what look like bait fish keep retreating right back to that big floating thing. And, and you might be like, no, Austin, they're not that smart. Brother, I've been guiding for a long freaking time on these lakes. I watch fish get conditioned to lures. So here's the deal. A lot of times the best thing you can do is once you have found fish, make a few casts and leave them. I mean, this is exactly why you have milk runs on these lakes. You find five or six or seven or eight schools of fish that are loaded and you just kind of rotate those areas and present multiple different baits, multiple different angles, multiple different times, and you just kind of run and gun. And you might pull up and you might catch one. You might pull up and you might not catch any. You might pull up and you might catch two. It's just part of it. But, you know, the old adage of, never leave fish to find fish well okay that's fine but you're just going to make it harder and harder and harder and harder and the, once again the rule of diminishing returns like over time those fish get conditioned unless you're literally landing it on them while they're schooling you're pretty much just sabotaging your own trip you're just literally educating fish seeing the same lure over and over and over again the same retrieve i've seen it with swim baiters I've seen it on herring lakes. I see it all too often. Guys keep a bait locked in their hand. They find some fish and then they keep trying to go back and forth in the area. And this is what happens. You get some fish that follow real hard the first cast. Then they kind of lackadaisically follow the second cast. And then they even more lackadaisically follow the third cast. And then they don't follow the fifth cast. And then you just kind of keep casting and they're like, damn, that thing ain't real. And that's what I'm saying. A lot of times you have got to actually leave the fish once you have found the fish. Obviously, make a few casts, four, five, six, seven, eight casts, depending on how they're biting. You know, a lot of times, I'm not kidding, I'll pull up, I'll make two casts, see how they follow. They're not set up right, I go on. Uh, you know, so that's just something to think about. It's a huge, huge mistake guys make, like I said, on highland reservoirs, clear water where fish tend to suspend, they set up on specific pieces of cover and structure. You know, it's like, hey, you are just kicking yourself in the face if you're just making repeated casts after repeated casts after repeated casts. You're doing nothing but educating those fish and wasting your time. Move on to the next school, develop a milk run, find a few schools, rotate between them. That is how you maximize catching the most and biggest fish with your time. So I would love to hear your opinions down in the comment section, what you think. I'll tell you what, technology has really helped people become more efficient anglers, and that is just what I've seen with my use of forward-facing sonar guiding on these highland reservoirs so like i said leave a comment i want to hear your opinions if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're a frequent watcher i would love for you to subscribe hit the notification so you know every time we drop a video okay anyways guys i appreciate you a ton for watching until next time i'm out see ya